we are. The so Q &A. this is the Q&A video. Oh, Karina comes in. Uh, Karina came to say hi. Hi. I'll pick her up here. Mm. Oh. I don't have everybody's questions. Questions? Because they might have been busy to answer. Answer. Um, um, but we have starting with the life and a disability Q&A. The first one is Shed Fast Fitness. Fitness. Asks, what's four things you love about yourself? So I love just being me and That's... I'm unique. I can sing. I can create beautiful content for you guys. Those are my four things. Well, I have a couple of the same ones at the first mm -hmm. two. I am unique as well. I am, I do like myself for who I am. But my other two are, I love you for you. Mm -hmm. You love me for me. Mm -hmm. So that one actually makes you have five. Because you love me for who I am. Not for what you see, for what you want me as, right? Mm -hmm. And even though I do all the work and all that, I, I don't mind doing it. Mm -hmm. It's just when you push, push, push. Mm -hmm. I that's kind of the part where I just feel mm -hmm. myself going from up here to just slowly. Next question, number two. Art Oaken asks, "Where did you get your dog?" And uh, just because, okay, as you know, I have a disability, so I'm gonna have a hard time time pronouncing words. So if I name your last name wrong or your first name wrong, just don't get it defended. We both cannot pronounce names okay. and stuff very well. So asks, where, where did, did we... you get your dog? Um, um, we got her from a breeder. I communicated with the woman on Facebook. The whole way. Um, yeah, it was, in one can... of, it was in one of the groups. Yeah. Um, yeah, so she came from a breeder, and then she came to us when she was about nine weeks. Yes. Number three, Rory asks, how old are you? You look to be in your 20s. Rory, um, you are right. I am in my 20s, but I'm way up in my 20s. I'm I... 27. I am actually four years older than her. Yeah, so he's turning 32 in my So I'll be five years. Sixth. Yes. I'll be turning 28 in May. I actually came... Oh, I'll tell you that story when we get around to that question. I'll say that one better. Because <laughs> it kind of... Uh, we told. Vanessa Tellerovit asks, What's my favorite food? Um, my favorite Besides food pizza. is pizza. Um, what's <laughs> yours? Uh, I got quite a few. I've got pizza, steak, um, ribs. Too many different ones to, do, to kind of like. And 90% of some of those I actually cook myself. Hey, Karina. Come here, girl. Ryan Olmanator asks, What's your favorite food besides pizza? Tacos. Taco time. Mine's fish and chips, totally. Pulled pork sandwiches. Number six, Steve asks, who taught you to make videos? Um, um, I just started out on my own, and I became more successful over the years, and that's how I created videos. Hmm. Number seven, Emily Life on Wheels. You... Um, where did I meet my fiance? Have we set a wedding date? We did have a wedding date. Um, that was before that COVID. was before COVID. It was around Christmas time. Yeah, but we stopped because of the virus and all that. Um, we didn't want to wear a mask during our wedding. Um, yeah, I met David from Chatham. Me and him text. We texted a lot. And I actually came up here on May 7th, which was actually her birthday. I spent a week up here with her. With my mom. For that. Roberta asks, how did I meet David? Okay. The same <laughs> thing, Chatham. Okay, but this one, I'm actually going to tell mm -hmm. this one as the full story now. Mm -hmm. 
So I came up here. I had two meetings with two agencies. Either Options Northwest or CLTB. I didn't know she was also through Options Northwest at the time. So I went with Community Living. Uh, her worker at the time was Ashley Gilbert. Um, she got my number. She and she gave it to her. And then um, we talked for a bit, and after a little bit, I actually asked her to see a picture of her. She was thinking, oh, God, is he going to be a loser and say, I don't want to be with you? And I said, and then I sent her a picture of my face, and she said, her grandma's like, oh, he's too old for you. Excuse me, guys. <laughs> and I was like, oh, you're such a cutie. And then she went on to say, I hate being a lady. I said, oh, so you're on that right now. She's like, how embarrassing. I said, I love you, you cutie pie. That's for all your women's out there. Yeah. This is not a men's conversation. Well, because I took that in school. and I took it in college. I took it in high school. I had to do the whole shebang. Let's okay, so number nine is an ominous question. question. What was high school like for you in the special needs class? Are you attending college or university? Um, I wanted to attend college, but I ended up getting a job as a receptionist back when I was just up out and of high running. school. Yeah, so I didn't like it was time. right out of high, high school. school. Wasn't that great? Um, I didn't have a very good teacher from grade. 11 to graduation um i did have some bullying problems um yeah, uh, so. for her her bullying problem was too much there was too much going on with that like if i had moved up here sooner i would have handled all that mm -hmm. i probably would have ended up in jail for all it but yeah i might have put about half of those people in a casket in the ground so when I had bullying problems in school for myself, it was back in grade school when I was just wearing glasses, calling me fluoride and all that horse crap. So I turned around to them and I said, "Hey, you want to handle that? You want to you want to pick a fight?" I said, "I've got a whole hockey team backing me up." And they're like, "Yeah, where?" I was like this, and I just went like this and wound up my finger, and my whole team would just drop whatever they were doing with other friends, come right behind me and say, "He's got his whole team." And these guys, when we played hard hockey, we played hard. We ended up going straight through championships. We did not lose in that. We actually ended up winning the game by a huge long shot. Like, we were mm -hmm. scoring goals. I ain't even got an assist goal in the hand. I got in the paper for it. I've gotten in the paper a few times, but that was all down south. I got on TV only once. Okay. Number 10 is Riley C. Slaps Option Workers. What is the biggest challenge that you have faced living independently and as an individual with a disability? Riley, the first time I lived on my own, um, I did have quite a challenge. I lived over on Archibald Street, which is here in Thunder Bay. Um, you had to fill up your kettle to get warm water like three times a day in order to do your dishes. There was mice, nests, it was just a disaster. And then she got... It was a real challenge. Okay, and the other challenges she had was she got put with another person who had not taken their meds like me. But she was bipolar, just like um, me. David, but she was way worse. She would hold your stuff's hostage. Um, she would try and harm you. If you tried to even get out of the um, house. Yeah, so I ended up getting removed from that house that day. Um, yeah, so that's my biggest challenge. Um, my biggest challenge is when I first actually started living on my own after my mother died and it was hard the first day she did i uh ended up just like i ended up just bawling my eyes out for the next i think it was over a month worth of like i just cried 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 tried to get a grievance counselor worker never happened 
it wasn't worth my time. So once we got actually set Brandon, cause I had another worker, she, I had another counselor and she just <laughs> blew it over, took time off, left it and never came back to it. I had another worker after that one. She didn't go so good. She ended up dropping it and all that crap. Um, after that, I just had nobody to grieve to. I had nobody to, like, so, literally. That's it, it for, for the, these this. questions. But we do have one question ourselves for you. Oh. <laughs> I know you guys like our cooking videos and that. Or a grocery haul. Would and you stuff. guys be interested if we made a cooking channel called Life with the Disability, but we would put L W D for Life as a Disability Cooking Channel. That's what we would name. Comment down below hey. if that's something <clears throat> you would subscribe to or be interested in. And we'll see you in the next video. Well, I do have a few other questions too for them. Okay. Well, it's a couple of choices for the channel name. Mm -hmm. So, like, we can do Jessica and David, mm -hmm. Life with a Disability, How to Cook with a Disability sort of thing. We could do How to Cook with a Disability and we can make channel. It like, um, so, like, what we can do for But it, comment down below if that's something you if you want it, JW or to subscribe. D, if you want it, JWD, Jessica, Life with... J L W D, or do you want it? Um, cooking with a disability channel. On We're how just asking you guys. We would like you guys to, to give we us. We would still keep this channel. Yes, this would be our this primary. This is our big hit. We'll still make videos on this channel for you. But, but we've if, noticed that a lot of people have been interesting and in more like. Going out to eat and cooking at home and grocery hauls and that kind of thing. Um, would that something be interested? Comment down below if you would subscribe <laughs> yeah. or if you think that that's a good idea. Um, we'll see you in the next video. video. Bye, guys. Uh, yes. And Karina says goodbye to all of you. Hey, Karina. You got something to say to these guys? Come here, honey. Come here. Don't bury my your face down there. Oh, I know you don't like that, Mozilla. Oh, you're. Uh... <laughs> uh...